In this video, we will configure the Cubase or Nuendo Stream Deck plugins to read the configuration from a specific version of Udo. This is needed either if the plugin can't find any version at all, or if it finds another version than the one you are normally working with. So, in order to find the available key commands, and the available MIDI commands. The plugin will scan the Steinberg folder on a PC and the library preferences folder on a Mac. And it will try to locate all the subfolders with a name that starts with Cubase or Nuendo, depending on plugin. And if you have multiple versions, as I have, it will extract the version number from the folder name and select the folder with the highest version number. If the plugin can't find any version at all, you will get a status message saying that it can't find any folder. But if it finds a folder, you will get a message saying for what version it has found a folder. And it will read the configuration for the key commands and MIDI commands from that folder. In my case, it has found a folder for Cubase 11 because that is the latest version that I have installed. But let's say that I normally use Cubase 10.5 for some reason then I need to change and tell the plugin that it should read the configuration from that version instead. And you do that by configuring the user settings file. You find the user settings file in the plugin folder, either for Cubase or for Nuendo. And you simply copy that file and paste it to the Trevelyaspl folder in your documents folder. And if you don't have that Trevelyaspl folder yet, just create it. And then you paste the Stream Deck or Nuendo user settings file to that folder and open it. There you have a Cubase path or a Nuendo path if you are using Nuendo. And there you can specify exactly which folder you want the plugin to work with. So if we look at the Steinberg folder again and say that I want the plugin to read the configuration from Cubase 10.5, I can take that path and I can paste it to the user settings file. If we look at the plugin right now, it says that it reads its configuration from the Cubase 11 folder. But if I save this file, we can see that it immediately changed and read the configuration from the folder for Cubase 10.5 instead. And now all the MIDI commands and all the key commands are read from the configuration for Cubase 10.5. One last but important thing to mention about this is that the DAW version that we configure in the user settings file only relates to from where the plugin should read its configuration of commands. When you later use the button, it will be sent to whatever program that is listening. If you use a key command button, it's exactly as when you use your computer keyboard. The characters will be sent to whatever program that has focus on the screen. And if you use a MIDI command button, it will be sent to the configured MIDI output. And whatever is listening on the other end of that port will receive the MIDI command. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.